Recent analyses of lunar soil samples collected by China's Chang'e 6 mission have unveiled significant insights into the moon's volcanic history, revealing that volcanic activity occurred on both the near and far sides. For centuries we gazed upon its surface, wondering about its secrets. Ancient civilizations tracked its phases and poets wrote about its beauty. Now, thanks to modern science and exploration, we are beginning to unravel those mysteries. Advanced technology has allowed us to send spacecraft and rovers to study the moon up close. Recent missions to the moon have yielded astonishing discoveries, particularly about the moon's volcanic past. These findings are reshaping our understanding of lunar history. It's more active than we once thought. The evidence of volcanic activity suggests a dynamic and evolving landscape. One of the most significant findings is the evidence of long-lasting volcanic activity. This challenges the long-held belief that the moon has been geologically dead for billions of years. This overturns our previous understanding of the moon's geological timeline. Scientists now believe that volcanic activity may have persisted much longer than previously thought. We used to believe volcanic activity on the moon ceased billions of years ago. This new evidence suggests a more complex and active history. But new data suggests it continued for much longer, perhaps even into the recent past. This revelation opens up new questions about the moon's evolution. This has profound implications for our understanding of how the moon formed and evolved. As we continue to explore, who knows what other secrets the moon may reveal. The far side of the moon, tidally locked so that it always faces away from Earth, has always been shrouded in mystery. This hidden hemisphere, often referred to as the dark side, has intrigued scientists and astronomers for decades. The Chang'e 4 mission, the first to successfully land on the far side, provided unprecedented insights into this hidden hemisphere. This groundbreaking mission by China marked a significant milestone in lunar exploration. Data from the mission revealed evidence of volcanic eruptions much younger than those found on the near side. These findings challenged previous assumptions about the Moon's volcanic activity timeline. This discovery suggests that the two sides of the Moon experienced different geological histories. The far side's unique landscape and geological features tell a story distinct from the near side. Analysis of lunar samples brought back by the Chang'e 5 mission from the near side further supports this idea. These samples have provided invaluable data for scientists studying the Moon's history. The samples contain minerals and isotopes that indicate a more complex and prolonged volcanic past than previously thought. This new understanding